All right, so next up is an inclined plane example problem. So again, just like all of our other simple machines problems, make sure you have your calculator handy and you have your formulas packet. And here we have our inclined plane. And this right here is our diagram. And right here is our IMA and AMA calculations. So IMA of an inclined plane is L over H. So L is the length of the slope. So we're gonna to have to actually find the length of the slope and then H is the height of the inclined plane. So IMA for all simple machines is effort distance over resistance distance. Since IMA of an inclined plane is L over H and we know that IMA of all simple machines is effort distance over resistance distance, we know that effort distance of an inclined plane is equal to L or the length of the inclined plane and resistance distance of an inclined plane is equal to H or the height of the inclined plane. So let's get into our scenario. So your next door neighbor recently got in an accident and will be wheelchair bound for the next couple of months. In the meantime, he will need a ramp installed to be able to get in the front door of his house. The difference in height from the ground to the doorway is 20 inches. ADA requirements say that a ramp cannot have a slope steeper than 1 to 12. But to be on the safe side, we've decided to go with a 1 to 16 slope, so that's an even flatter slope than required. Your neighbor weighs 185 pounds and has a wheelchair that weighs 20 pounds. So we have two questions that we want to answer. One is, how long will the ramp need to be? And two, how much force will it take to push your neighbor up the ramp? So we're going to start by sketching out the inclined plane. So again, you don't have to do anything fancy for any of your sketches. You can just sketch a generic inclined plane. And we want to label L, which is equal to effort distance. And that is the length of the slope, or you can also call it the hypotenuse of that triangle. And then we're also going to label H as the height of the inclined plane. And we're going to say that H is also the same as resistance distance. We know that our resistance force, is, you know, because we're going to be pushing your neighbor up this slope, so the amount of force that we're going to have as a resistance force is going to be a combination of the weight of your neighbor and the weight of the wheelchair. So I'm going to label that right now. And I'm going to label resistance force is 185 plus 20 or 205 pounds is our total resistance force. Our effort force, we're going to have to figure out what that is. So now that we have our diagram drawn and our known variables here, uh, actually we have one more known. We know that the H or resistance distance is equal to 20 inches. We don't know what this is yet. We know that the slope is gonna be one to 16. So slope is defined as rise over run. And in this case, we want a slope of one unit of rise to 16 units of run. And we know that the rise in our case is 20 inches. So in order to get the uh, length of our, of our ramp here, we need to take 20 inches, and that is equivalent to the one unit of rise, and we need to figure out how long it is, so the 16 units of run. So we can simply take 20 times 16 and get our run of 320 inches. Now, as far as this diagram goes, that 320 inches is actually this bottom leg of the triangle right here. So that doesn't actually give us L. 
or DE. So we're going to have to calculate that now to find this third leg of the triangle. So we have a right triangle right here, and we know that in order to find the third leg of a right triangle, we can use a squared plus b squared equals c squared for the Pythagorean theorem. So a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And we have a and b right here. So we'll say 20 squared plus 320 squared equals L squared. Okay, so I already have 320 here in the calculator, so I'm just going to square that. And I have 102,400. And I am going to take 20 and square it. And I get 400. And I'm going to set that equal to L squared. So now if I take these two numbers and add them together, so 400 plus 102,400, I get 102,800. And I'm going to take the square root of that to get L, or the length of the hypotenuse of my triangle up here. So I'm going to do square root of 102,800, and I get 320.624308. I'm going to round that to 320. 0.625, which is 5 eighths of an inch. So L equals 320.625 inches. Okay, so back to our questions up here. We're going to need both of these numbers because the first question is how long will the ramp be? Well, we actually have that solved already. So the ramp length is 320 inches and 320 inches isn't like a standard way that you would give the length of a ramp like that that's kind of a large number so we would actually want to convert that into feet so 320 divided by 12 gives us 26 and two-thirds and two-thirds of a foot is eight inches so we're going to say 26 feet eight inches and that's our answer for our ramp length. Now, as far as L goes here, we're going to use this in our static equilibrium equation to figure out how much effort force we need to push your neighbor up this ramp. So static equilibrium equations are always effort force times effort distance. And we set that equal to resistance force times resistance distance. Okay, and we have all these numbers already except for Fe. So Fe is what we're going to be solving for. So our effort force times DE, which is the length of the hypotenuse, which we have right here. So 320.625 inches. We're going to set that equal to the resistance force, which we have up here we found is 205 pounds. And we're going to multiply that by the resistance distance, which is equal to H, or 20 inches. So now we can start to simplify this. 205 pounds times 20 inches equals 4,100 inch pounds. And that is equal to 320 and 5 eighths inches times our effort force, which is still unknown. So to uh, simplify this further and figure out what our effort force is, we're going to divide both sides by 320 and 5 eighths. And that's going to cancel out on this side. 
and over here, inches are gonna cancel out. So we know that our answer for our effort force is going to be in pounds. So 4,100 inch pounds divided by 320.625 or 320 and 5 eighths equals 12.78 and we'll just round this to 12.8 pounds. So our ideal effort force for pushing your 205 pound neighbor up this ramp is 12.8 pounds, just about 13 pounds of effort force.